Hi there. My name's John Maybe. Welcome to Hippo Shorts. In this segment, we're going to talk about retinoblastoma. So what's retinoblastoma? It's a cancer of the retina that usually occurs in children under the age of two. 90% of these cases actually occur before the age of five. It's a fairly rare condition. The prevalence is about 250 to 350 new cases per year. Most of these are caused by a mutation in the RB1 gene, which is a tumor suppressor gene. This gene is located on the long arm of chromosome 13, or 13Q. We see, in fact, two major forms of this disease process. One of these is hereditary, and the second is due to spontaneous mutation. The hereditary form accounts for about one-third of these diseases, and in this particular circumstance, we see both eyes typically being involved. The spontaneous mutation, on the other hand, accounts for about two-thirds of these cases, and here we see involvement typically of only one eye. The most common physical examination finding that we see is leukocoria. So leukocoria is that white pupil or white reflex that we see, and we also, also see the presence of strabismus. If we take a look at our first image, <clears throat> the top on the left-hand side, we see the normal red reflex, right, when you shine the light into the eye. And what we see on the right-hand side is that leukocoria, or that white pupil or white uh, reflex in the eye. The image on the bottom shows a similar finding, but on the left-hand side, there we see the white pupil or leukocoria on the left-hand side, and you can almost make out the tumor on the eye ground. So clearly when this is seen, this should be followed by a fundoscopic exam through a dilated pupil. So here in this next image, we actually can see through that dilated pupil, looking at the eye grounds, we can see the tumors located directly on the retina in both of these images. That wraps it up for this segment of Hippo Shorts. For more information on this topic, come on down to hippoeducation.com, and we'll see you next time.